Hello and welcome everyone to the easiest way to get Minecraft music discs in survival mode. Now we all love music discs. They're rare, they're fun, and there's actually quite a few of them. The reason that music discs are so rare and or hard to obtain is because most of them do not generate naturally. The only ones that do are called 13 and cat and can be found in 22.2% or about two out of every nine dungeon chests in groups of one. The only other way to obtain them in survival mode, as well as the only way to get music discs other than 13 and Cat, is to get a skeleton to shoot and kill a creeper. If this happens, the creeper will then drop its normal gunpowder with the addition of a random music disc. Now this may seem relatively simple a task at first, but it can be quite challenging, especially with the 1.9 combat update that makes skeletons break dance while shooting you. It's so hard to get them to line up. Oh my gosh. Fortunately for us, there exists a simple piston contraption that's been around for ages, and this is going to help us collect some music discs safely, quickly, and easily. Building it is pretty simple. All you need to do is put a pressure plate down on the ground, put four pistons all alongside it, like so, and make sure they're facing upwards. And to top things off, put a block of your choice two blocks above the pressure plate, like so. So the basic idea of this sort of contraption is that you find a creeper, and then you guide him into it, and bam, he's stuck forever. We do want the creeper to be a one-hit shot from the skeleton, though, so we're gonna have to bring his health down. The best way to do this is to shoot him twice with a fully charged, unenchanted bow. So that's one shot, and two shot. This should bring the creeper down to one heart. So after we find a skeleton, we're gonna need to lure him to the creeper. Ah, don't explode. And there you go, one uh, shot from the skeleton killed him, and we have our music disc, I got chirp. So that's the basic idea of this contraption. Let's go test this out in a survival world to see how this works practically. Oh, perfect. Okay, so I see a creeper and two skeletons. I'm gonna make the contraption right here. I hope this works out. Now for the creeper. Too easy. All right, let's grab a skeleton real quick. All right, here we go. Ouch. All right, I have an enchanted bow, so I'm gonna hit him with my sword once. That should be enough. Don't explode. Okay. All right, I'm gonna loop around here. And this should do it. Or maybe two shots, I don't know. One, two, maybe three. There we go, three shots. And give him a crap and got Okay, got cat. I can break out of here. Ouch. Um, that took about, what, three minutes? Pretty easy. Now there's a bunch of alternate methods to do this. For example, you can trap the skeleton and then lure the creeper, which is like way harder and dumb, so don't do that. You could build two traps and trap both a creeper and a skeleton. Try out different methods. There's a lot of different ways, but this is definitely the most simple, straightforward, and basic method. Now, if you are having trouble with this method, if the skeleton is too hard to lure or too hard to line up, um, and the whole process just kind of isn't working for you for whatever reason. The, there is an easier method and that's building like just a bunch of them. It's obviously going to require a lot more materials, a bit more time to build, um, but the harvest um, and ease of use are a bit better. So here's some skeletons I could make an example out of. Alright, come on buddy. Crap, I trapped myself. That's also one issue. Oh, here's another one. Okay, he's trapped. Um, generally with these guys, you're going to want to block them off like this. So now I'm going to go get a creeper. Alright, so I'm just going to lure him to, to this spot. Alright, he is stuck. Um, I could find more creepers if I want to, and like use that one skeleton for all of them. Let's get you on this one, buddy. <laughs> just jump on up here, and gotcha! Alright, so now we can free the skeleton here on like one area. Hey. No! Okay, don't. All right, so that's an example of what not to do. Don't have it explode. All right, let me get this creeper. Got him. All right, I can just sit here and get rid of this one. And there we go. Music disc. Oh, he's behind the block, that's why. Oh, crap! I forgot about that. All right, so we've killed one creeper, and the other two have exploded because I suck at this game. And there we go, and then break this, and then, you know, you get the drill. Please don't explode. And you just stand here, and you wait. The hard part is getting them in. And after that's a piece of cake. All right, what we get this time? Mall. But yeah, as you can see, the, uh, the ease of use with this one is a bit better. And you can randomly trap other mobs, too. 
it's really just fun. If you had a hundred of these, you could just run, run, run through it like it's a forest and just watch everything get trapped. Also, I did some math. So I'm assuming most of you want to have a complete set of all the 12 discs, right? On average, how many creepers will you have to kill to get all 12 unique discs? Well, my math says 33 on average, but the wiki says 49. So I don't know. One of those two. If you're just looking for one unique music disc, on average it's going to take you about eight creepers. If it takes you more than that, you're getting unlucky. If it takes you less than that, congrats, you got lucky. That's kind of how these um, probability thingies work. So that sums up this tutorial on how to get music discs in survival. I hope you guys find this tutorial helpful and easy to follow. Luring the skeleton and getting the skeleton to shoot the creeper is a lot harder than it used to be. Um, so that may be the one kind of varying, potentially difficult portion of this, um, despite most of it being fairly easy and straightforward. So if you guys have any questions or answers for other users, um, feel free to comment below. Um, I'm sure people will help you out and I'm sure your help will be appreciated. Um, there's a lot of different strategies and a lot of different little gimmicks to keep in mind with mobs. Uh, to help you get this skeleton shooting a creeper thing down. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you have great success with this uh, technique. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Hi again, side note, thanks to Red Inferno for suggesting this video. It was a pretty hot suggestion, really fired me up to make a new video. Remember, your guys' comments are what fuels me to make new videos. Always feel free to post a video suggestion down below. I'll either ignore you, or I'll feature you. I want to know what you guys want to see. Also, I run out of ideas really fast. Thanks!